Hey, Marcus Hutzel here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about some basic headset mics that you can use for virtual meetings or any other recordings, but primarily for virtual meetings. And I'll talk about the pros and cons of choosing this style of microphone. And I'll test a couple of different brands and models of headset mics so you can hear some of the audio quality differences. And keep in mind that I'm talking about USB style headset mics, kind of like these meant for you know basic use and really for virtual meetings. I'm not talking about professional performance headset mics like singers use for live performances. Those are quite a bit different and for a completely different use. I'll stick to consumer plug and play USB headset mics for general use in your office or your home office. And if you recall one of my previous videos on how getting the mic closer to you will better isolate your voice from your surroundings, well, there's almost no way to get the mic closer to you than a headset mic. Just remember that most headset mics don't usually pick up and reproduce the full audio spectrum, so your voice won't sound quite as full as using a dynamic or condenser mic, like a desk mic or a boom mic, but these may be a way to go if you need to isolate your voice and maybe have some uh, earmuffs to cover your ears so you don't get distracted from outside sounds. All right, so let's test a couple of headset microphones. I've got one on right now, and headset mics for me are a bit of a toss-up on whether I use them for virtual meetings or not. It just depends on the situation. These types of mics are obviously and usually built to be very close to your mouth, so they always stay with you and will isolate you better because they are staying with your voice at all times. And some headset mics have two earmuffs, like this one, whereas this model only has a single earmuff. And of course, quality can differ greatly between brands. For instance, this Sennheiser model that I'm using actually sounds really great for the money, and it has dual earmuffs, one for each ear, obviously. And headset mics generally cut off some of the high-end frequencies and some of the low-end frequencies, making everything a bit more mid-rangey, but this one actually sounds pretty good and pretty natural and will obviously stay with my voice as I move my head and will isolate me a little better. And even though most headset mics will distort if you breathe directly into their mic capsule, the Sennheiser does this a little better than some that I've used before. You can uh, sometimes hit it with breath and it won't always distort. You have to hit it pretty hard sometimes with a good breath for it to really distort. Be careful of that, but it still controls it better. It doesn't produce quite as loud of a distortion as some other headset mics, so it controls it overall a little better than others. Whereas this Plantronics model actually doesn't sound that great to me. It, it does isolate my voice since the microphone is close to my mouth and stays with me as I turn my head. But to me, it cuts off way more of the high-end frequencies, leaving me a lot more mid-rangey in the way I sound but at least it does isolate my vocal from most everything else in the room. But again, just like the Sennheiser or anything close to your mouth, if you breathe directly on it, it will distort and that can sound bad. And sometimes you won't hear that, uh, especially in set like this, which only has one ear muff. It only has uh, the left ear muff, not the right one. So that, that may not be helpful to you if you're in a shared office space because you'll be getting sounds from everyone else coming into this year while you're trying to hear a meeting in this year. But, you know, it's an inexpensive option and uh, quick to uh, put on and deploy if needed, but it's not the best sound quality. And then, of course, you've got much larger headsets like this one, which have much, much larger earmuffs. These are marketed more as gaming headsets. And although the larger earmuffs may not be how you want to look on a virtual meeting, they can be helpful if you're in a louder environment because the larger earmuffs covering more of your ear and being on both ears will help keep the outside sounds out of your hearing so you will be able to hear the meeting better. And although this particular microphone picks up what sounds to me like a, a broader spectrum of frequencies, I sound a little more natural, it's actually a little more noisy. You can probably hear the hiss coming along with my vocal if you're listening on headphones. But it gets the job done and I have used this a lot in my office at work because that is a shared office space. There's more sound going on around me so a headset mic like this with big, large ear cups covering my ears helps keep those sounds out so I can concentrate on my meeting. This is the sound of the Sennheiser EPOS PC8 USB headset microphone. This is the sound of the Plantronics Blackwire 3210 headset microphone. And this is the sound of the Sadie's R7 gaming headset microphone. And then of course there is the option of wearing 
earbuds, or in this case, Apple AirPods 2, because obviously they will move with you as you turn your head and look at different areas. So they kind of act like a headset mic. But if you can obviously hear the sound quality, I don't think the sound quality is very good. And this is the maximum sound quality you're going to get from something like AirPods 2. Now the AirPods 3 and AirPods Pro may have a better sound quality on the microphone, but I don't have those, so I can't test them. But they are a good option in terms of always staying with you if you needed to get up and move around, you're completely wireless and your voice will always get back to the meeting. And of course, if you're just having internal meetings with coworkers, there's not always the need for better quality audio for your microphone. But if you're giving more of a professional presentation to where you need to sound as good as possible, then number one, I would always recommend wearing some sort of earphones or earbuds to listen to the meeting. But then we could use a different microphone as our input into that meeting. And now I've switched over to using this microphone that you can now see a little bit in the shot. So I'm able to hear the meeting through my ears. The uh, meeting doesn't come out of my speakers and back into the microphone because the meeting's only coming out of here, it's not coming out of the speakers. And then I can use this microphone as a much more high quality capture of my voice back into the meeting. So a little bit of the best of both worlds. Then again, using an external mic kind of defeats the purpose of talking about these as a headset mic, but I just wanted to let you hear the sound quality that you may get depending on your AirPods or earbuds of choice. All right, I really hope some of this has been helpful. Now, all of these headset mics are within about the $25 to $50 range, depending on prices at the time, of course. And if I were going to choose, I'd probably choose this Sennheiser one if I were going to have meetings here in my home office because there's not a lot of outside sound always going on here in my home office. So the smaller uh, earpieces, even though they don't cut out as much sound, I don't have a lot of extra sound going on. If I were in my office at work where it's more of a shared space, I probably and usually do use a headset mic like this with the bigger earmuffs because it helps me isolate um, myself from the outside world so I can hear the meeting a little better. So it's really up to you on how you not only want your video frame to look and whether you want to be seen wearing a headset mic or not, and of course the sound quality that you're going to get with different microphones on all these different headsets. So your choice, but I wanted to do uh, these tests and examples to, I don't know, hopefully just let you hear some of the differences so you can make a more informed decision. So until next time, see you there. Happy recording. Later.